this is going to be a continuation of the previous word that I just released about Jacob and Esau in this season and these archetypes happening in this hour. Again, take these words back to the Lord, seek the Lord through the Holy Spirit, and I pray that God would confirm if this is something that you are dealing with in any of your um, close circles or in your church or anywhere else that God is highlighting to you, especially if you're an intercessor, I pray that you would stand up on your mantle if you are a watchman or, or an intercessor in any form, that you would take this before the Lord and intercede on behalf of those people that God is asking to carry the promise in this hour. So just as I was revealing in the last video, there was an appointed time for Esau to inherit the blessing. And because he sold his birthright to Jacob for a single meal, when the time came to inherit the blessing, he no longer could receive it from his father. And he said, Father, bless me too. And he said, I'm sorry, the blessing's already been released. And so God always knew that Jacob was going to be the one to birth the tribes of Israel. He already knew. There are no replacements per se. God has been very clear with me on replacements as far as like mantles or as people, depending on the different covenants that God has been speaking and promising to you in your quiet time with the Lord. There are no replacements. There were simply appointed times, people that God put in place because he already knew the beginning from the end and how these things were going to play out, how these situations were going to play out in your life. So I just pray that you would, again, take this back to the Lord, but understand there are times and where you need to really be in the presence of the Lord in real time through the leading of his Holy Spirit because he can give you a promise and God's word is always true. Let God be true and every man a liar. However, just like how Esau was born as the first firstborn to inherit the promise, he did not receive the promise because he sold it. So at a certain time, the promise was shifted and God again already knew this is happening. So in this season, there are people who are like Jacob who the promise looked like it was going to pass to one, but because they have done something in front of the Lord, their God, this blessing may be carried by a Jacob in this hour. And the Esau's, there's judgment there. There is a, a conviction and a correcting there that God may be doing in their lives. And so pray for these people, pray for the Jacobs as well, because we know how this story plays out. And so I just pray that the Lord God would bless you with this word and give you more divine revelation and understanding and wisdom as you seek him for this word in your life or in the lives of those that you love. I pray that you all be blessed and have a wonderful evening.